How to use the Edit tab. This is how you use the Edit tab in the Eclipse software. First, click the Edit tab next to Recording, and you'll see this window here to the left. In the Edit tab, you can mark your waveforms and label them. If you want to mark wave 1, press 1. When placed, you can see the latencies in milliseconds. If you also place the trough at the bottom next to the peak, you will also see the amplitude of wave 1. For easier access to the wave markers, you can also use your keyboard by pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 to place the corresponding wave markers. You can use the CR, RA, and INC labels to label whether a waveform is clear response, response absent, or inconclusive. Below, you can see the interlatencies, which are the latencies between wave markers 1 to 3, 3 to 5, and 1 to 5. At the bottom of the Edit tab, you can change the display filter settings. This will not affect the raw data of the recording, and you can always disable the filters again. This function can help remove any unwanted noise in the recording, which can make the measurement easier to interpret. For example, using the low-pass filter will typically smooth the curve. And using the high-pass filter will reduce the low-frequency content of the waveform, as seen here. As you can see, a lot of the low frequencies have been removed by setting the high-pass filter at 250 Hz. At the top of the screen, you can see an overview of the different recording parameters used for the chosen waveform.